Your phone is already a good webcam, but damn, you want to use your phone during Zoom calls or streaming. And you have some money, so you want to buy a webcam. But wait, you always wanted to pick up photography or vlogging since you're young, and you can't really take a webcam to the beach. Luckily, you're living in the 21st century. Everything that has a lens can be turned into a webcam. It is actually pretty easy to do this. So there's two methods you can use to turn any camera into a webcam. There's an easy way and a hard way. And of course the easy way all depends on your USB and your camera. And sometimes for me it always lags, so I don't really like it. But the second method is a bit annoying and hard, but it, the latency is really good, meaning no lag at all. So stay till the end for these two methods. So today I'm using a mirrorless DSLR Canon camera which is called the Canon M50. But this will work with any camera. The first method is via its own webcam utility, which uses a normal USB cable. So for my Canon camera, I just need to search for Canon webcam utility, and you can easily download this webcam utility and connect it with a USB cable. As you can see, it is compatible with all these Canon cameras but it is only for Canon cameras. If you have other brand besides Canon, you can just search for Nikon webcam utility and they also have their own webcam utility. So even GoPros, Nikon, Panasonic, all of them have their own webcam utility and most of them you just download it and connect your camera with a USB cable. Here is my Canon M50. So I have my USB cable right here. It's really interesting since I have three of them, <laughs> three different USB cables. So just plug into it and the other end, of course, plug it into your PC or laptop. Right now we are using OBS to demonstrate, but basically even Zoom calls or Google meetings, all of them are all the same. You just need to change your webcam source. So for OBS, I just click on plus sign and then go to video capture device, call it whatever you want. And then I go to my US webcam utility. So most of them you can change to others one. So for this, just pick your webcam utility, click on OK. So right now, as you can see, US webcam utility is not connected or detected, but my camera is still on. So I just go in to restart it. So just turn off. And then turn it on again. As you can see, it is already connected. My Canon camera has turned into a webcam. Hello! So as you can see, it is actually quite lag. Once I raise up my hands and then down, so if you observe my mouse picking, it will be actually be slower, like really slow because of the lagging and the latency problem with the USB and the webcam utility. So there is a few ways to reduce the lag or improve the quality of the webcam. First off, make sure to match your resolution and the FPS to your camera. As you can see, if I turn off recording, I can change this to whatever value I want and make sure these values are the same as your camera. But for meeting apps, I don't think you have that flexibility. So you need to go to the second way, which is you need to always reset your camera, which means you need to turn off and turn on again and reconnect it. The third way is you get a better USB cable or better connection to your PC. Since sometimes poor quality cable can affect the streaming quality. Next is the hard method and will significantly improve the quality of this webcam stream or webcam utility. This is actually the method of how most professional streamers stream using a DSLR camera. And you need to actually get a few extra accessories and it will significantly improve the latency of this webcam. So first off, you need a video capture card and a HDMI cable. As you can see, the video capture card varies in prices and you can go from $18, $30. This is actually what I get. And most professionals use around the Elgato Camlink um, video capture card, which can broadcast um, 4K streams, which costs almost 
hundred bucks, two hundred dollars. So the quality of this video capture card is proportional to the price. The better the video capture card you get, um, the better your stream is gonna be. And then you need a HDMI camera for the video capture card to your HDMI in your camera. So two of the HDMI ends are different but both are called HDMI, one micro and one standard one. So once you have all these accessories such as the video capture card and the HDMI cable, just easily plug them in and you can see my Canon camera screen has been turned off. Uh, right now, here we are in OBS. So just click on the plus sign and then go to video capture device. So just name it webcam via HDMI, click on OK. And it is the default EOS webcam utility that we just used. So just simply change it to USB video. As you can see, it has already connected to my camera. Hello. And first thing you can see that it is so much clearer and the latency is so much better. As you can see, it just went rainbow color mode which means your camera is in now screensaver or it has automatically sleep since the hdmi cable capture whatever feed from your camera whatever you see in the camera will be seen in your screen so what you gotta do really easily is just set up so that your camera don't switch off automatically or so just go to settings and find auto power save so for Canon cameras, it is in this location. So just go to number two and go to power savings. And as you can see, the display off will be in one minute or auto power off is in one minute. So I want to change that and disable it to even longer or just straight up disable it. So I'm going to put 10 minutes. Okay, right now I want to remove the annoying information around the screen. So I want to remove all this um, info since I want a clean feed. So each camera is different. So you need to find out um, more from Google for your own brand. But for Canon camera, just easily press info three times. So press it once, press it twice. Third time it should be a clean feed. As you can see, it is right now a clean feed. And the latency is definitely better than the webcam utility ones. So just adjust the screen size. So there you go. This is how you turn your camera into a webcam. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video. Butter Zero, peace out.